I saw him throw on Instagram before I actually met him. 89. And then all of a sudden, one day I saw him at the facility I was working at, and we kind of just hit it off. <laughs> Can't do that again, bro. <laughs> if you were to see my swing nine months ago, you wouldn't believe that was my swing. A lot of people see him just as a pitcher right now. <laughs> but for me, I see way beyond that. His floor is higher than a lot of guys' ceilings. A lot of people say sky's the limit. I say the sky's the floor for this guy. What was that right there? 92. 92 second swing in the day. It doesn't happen too often. That's a lot of guys like full max. I'm Quincy Bright. I'm 15 and I play baseball. So this is my pre-workout. We're gonna add some of the sweetness. Rice Krispie treat. <laughs> Normally I add ice cream just like to cheat the taste of it. Yeah, yeah this is it. <laughs> I'm Jimmy Titus. I'm oh, Quincy's God. hitting coach. I try to be a mentor to him. Get after Overall, him. just trying to guide him through this process. Jimmy, yeah, that's my guy. We met last year. It was an instant, instant, instant click bond. It's kind of crazy, you know, like we're talking about a 15 year old kid. You know, on the mound, he's already up to 94.5. I'm not going to give him 95 because he hasn't done it yet, but he's one of the best athletes I've ever seen. He's got a good head on his shoulders. All he wants to do is train. All he wants to do is be the best. Anything that I can do to help him and propel him forward. That's what I'm here for. Let your swing happen. You're already moving quick. You don't have to add anything to it. If you were to see my swing nine months ago, you wouldn't believe that, that was my swing. You can't do that again, bro. <laughs> Before, I didn't really have a stretch in my swing. Every time I hit the ball, it was a ground out, a short pop up. And now that I'm giving myself more time with my hands, I'm able to drive the ball evenly, spread it through the gap. The athleticism is obviously there with him. But what we got to make sure of is that the direction and the timing is good. I mean, when I first met him, he was moving really fast, but didn't really know uh, exactly where he was going. You want to go uh, bottom hand now? So bottom hand, um, because his front arm's a little bit weaker, because it's just his, his right side, we want to maintain that direction through the field, right, instead of staying through it. I saw him throw on Instagram before I actually met him. I was like, oh my God, this kid's crazy. And then all of a sudden, one day I saw him at the facility I was working at, I talked to Omari, and we kind of just hit it off. So that's a funny story. Jimmy was like persistent. Jimmy was just standing by the gate, just waiting to talk to us, right? So I'm looking at him, I'm like, wow, this guy's watching hard. And then Jimmy just straight up approached us. He's like, listen, I love to work with Quincy. And we just gave him a shot. And then from there, it was just the connection was just real. What was that right there? 92. 92 second swing in the day. Super low effort right now, just trying to feel some things out. I'm throwing the ball 24 miles per hour, you hit it 92. It doesn't happen too often. That's that's a lot of guys like full max. A lot of people see him just as a pitcher right now, but for me, I see way beyond that. He's someone who can be a generational talent. I played with a lot of good players before and his floor is higher than a lot of guys' ceilings. A lot of people say sky's the limit. I say the sky's the floor for this guy. It's crazy. Yes, a boy. I realized Quincy was serious about baseball around the age of seven. Prior to that, kind of, I was just gonna work my plan through him. <laughs> it's, just, it's just honest. What always breaks me down when I say it, he just kept showing up. He kept showing up to work. He kept showing up to work. We would spend yeah, like 10, 15 minutes when I was three, every day in the backyard hitting with the boys. And it started getting to, I was like from six and seven years old. I kind of knew it was serious then, you know? <laughs> She came down there to save him a couple times. No days off is like literal. That's a literal term in this house. And we've struggled and we've battled many times because I believe in balance, like I said. Mom, that's like, like my number one supporter. Like, I'll go to her about anything. In this sport, it's sometimes all or nothing. And if I can just balance him with his social, emotional well-being, his yeah. mental health, um, yeah. just being the extra ear outside of baseball and just guiding him with those core values and morals, that's where I come in. Like, I just want him to be a good person, a kind person, a person with integrity. Those are some of the core values and attributes that I would like them to just kind of hold near and dear because it's going to take them really far. My name is Francisco Lara. Francisco is his trainer and also his uh, rehab specialist. We're going to start off with your mobility stuff. We do a lot of mobility to keep me loose. With this season coming up, we were trying to refine his movement patterns. We build up a lot of capacity in his body, and now it's essentially teaching him how to tap into that. Give me a big chest here. Big, 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 big chest. Pop your chest. There you go. Okay. Now from there, we're going to go rotate to the left. He keeps growing. <laughs> you know, he has a new body every couple of months. So it's important that he finds his body and understands where he is in space. Because that's one of the things that, that athletes in the younger stages kind of struggle with. They lose their ability to control their body. All these slow movements 
um, you know, in these positions, he's holding right contractions. He's isometrically engaging his muscles so that his body neurologically understands where he is in space. Francisco, I started with him when I was just turning 11. Ever since then, like we've been at it, we've been at the grind. Like I gained probably about 50 pounds since I started working with him. Strong, 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 good. Get yourself to that ceiling, right? It's like my least favorite. It's like when you haven't did these in a while. I know. <laughs> so at the beginning, it was uh, kind of humbling when you're in an athlete, you think you, you know, you're good. Come back, come back, come back. In and out, fast. That's where you're gonna get the explosion. In and out, right? Once you hinge, then you gotta go, right? You know, sometimes, like every other kid out there, right there, they hit a funk and they don't wanna do certain things, but uh, his ability to kind of bounce back from those funks is really nice to see. And then you're, you're jumping, okay? Your head touches the, the ceiling, that's okay. All that power that you build up is useless if you don't have control, right? Stand control. We also do a lot of split leg squats, but those are so hard. He's just a stud naturally, right? He's, he's a great athlete. More than anything, I want to say, like, his personality, right? He's, he's a good kid. He's a humble kid. Good work today, buddy. He's getting a lot of attention right now, but he stays focused. He stays focused. He stays focused. Let me get some water. Omari and, and his wife have done a great job of raising him as just a person. Quincy and I relationship is, is, he's a father's dream. I don't want to break it down. You know what I mean? And <laughs> I don't want to cry either, so don't make me yeah, cry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quincy's been in a light quicker than I ever thought it was gonna happen. You know, and so there's a lot of expectations and with those expectations come a lot of people not on your side. A lot of people wanna see you fail. They won't pick you away, they won't pick you away. Something my father taught me to do on and off the field. Take play, Quincy. Breathing, how to control my emotions even in tough situations. I love the kid, I just like to keep him balanced. I want him to know that you know, I was there for him as a mom, like not just for baseball, like I wanted to be another voice, another person that he can rely on. We're really happy to see that, like where he's gotten to with no days off, um, but there were sacrifices to get there. We're blessed, you know, we really feel blessed. No days off really means something to him. I would say no days off means to me, you're putting in that work every day, but knowing you're putting in quality over quantity. Nice.